So it's been a few days and the hydrochloric acid has reacted with all of the eggshell. Now I added too much hydrochloric acid in here to make sure it all reacted. Hmm. Why didn't I add just enough drop by drop by drop and when the fizzing stops, I know exactly how much acid and therefore exactly how much calcium carbonate was present. Well that would work, but it takes so long as you get slower and slower as there's the reactants become less and less as you drip them in. So that's crazy, that'll take you hours. So I added way too much acid. Now I just have to work out how much acid extra that I added. And that's what the second part of the experiment. I'm gonna add uh, some sodium hydroxide, one molar solution, and that will neutralize the extra acid in here. If I know how much extra acid I put in, and I know how much acid I put in initially, then I can work out how much acid reacted with the eggshell. So this is uh, known as lye. This will turn the proteins in your eye into soap. It's tremendously terrible stuff. So for the love of God, don't pour it in such a way that you might pour it onto your own face. Definitely goggles on. I've closed it at the bottom. So let me add uh, up to the, about the zero. I've got to clear the air gap under here. There's going to be a systematic error. There's air in there. So I'm just going to clear that out. That gone oh it's still there come on there we go so the air gaps now cleared i can discard this and take my first reading so my initial titration is exactly on uh, one no need for the excessive zooming cameraman it's fine <laughs> it's on one all right so let's do the titration put something white underneath so i can see the color change raise up the burette take out the funnel Now I've got colourless reactants and colourless products, so I'm going to need to add an indicator. The indicator of choice uh, for this is going to be phenolphthalein, phenolphthalein indicator. Definitely wash your hands after using this. It used to be uh, the component in laxatives uh, until they realised that it gave you cancer. So there we go. Now, if I put too much in, the good news is, the good news, if I put too much in, is that the colour change will be really obvious. But phenolphthalein itself, uh, in this condition, is, uh, is, is acidic. So if I add too much into it, I'm going to mess up my acid-based titration. So how much do you put in? You put a lot in, clear colour change, but you're messing up the titration because it's acidic itself. Well, then just put one drop in. Great, I've not messed up my titration, but then the colour change is not clear. So the first one's a trial, I'm just gonna let it go and then uh, stop when there's color change. Alrighty, so I've gone past the end point of the reaction, that's my trial. So what have I got here? I've got, uh, that's about 33. You don't have to be too accurate. So I come over to the data table. So that was uh, 33 give or take, and so that's going to be, I use 32 uh, milliliters, but this is the approximate one, the trial. Okay, so I'm going to repeat the experiment, but this time I'm going to stop just before I add 32, maybe I'll add 30, and then slow down and go drop by drop. She put sound effects in there. I'll try again. <laughs> that was cool. Again, not too many drops, not too few drops. Three seems about right. So I'm going to run in just under 30. All right. I'm going to add it slowly drop wise, hoping that one drop will just change it. Oh, perfection. You're laughing at. I've done this for 30 years. Okay. Oh, did it go again? Is that, oh, it went, okay, one more, maybe one more drop. Oh, bugger. Oh, I put in like four more drops. Okay, so I'm gonna account for the fact, what I should have done is when I finished, I should have written it down and then added a couple more and seen if I had actually finished. But there we go. So the titration here, okay.
I've noted down the initial volume again and you know, be careful not to overshoot it. With titration, there's always a systematic error. You always have to have to add a little more of the titrant uh, to see the color change. You always have to overshoot it to see the color change. So the volume that you're adding is always a little more than you need. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that one. So there's the collected data. It's a little janky. Uh, normally, for the first titration, the trial one, you overshoot and it turns pink. But for me, that didn't happen. I undershot. So uh, certainly it's a bit fishy about that. Also, ideally, you should be stopping. Uh, you, you need to repeat the experiment again and again until you get two values for the volume used uh, within 0.1 millilitres. Now, for my calculation, I'm just going to use this one. I, I, perhaps I should average both of them, but I know for this one, I can give a good excuse that this one, I know I went over. A so I'm just gonna use this in my final calculation.